Welcome to your vlog. Welcome to your vlog. Welcome to your vlog. So how do you pronounce this? Hanag Danan. Hanag Danan. Hanag Danan. Hanag Danan. Yeah. I gotta do it with a bit more of a Filipino accent. Today, me and Tony rented a tuk-tuk to take us on a tour of the island of Bohol. We're going to check out the biggest church on the island, visit the Shell Museum, go spelunky in an underground cave, and enjoy lunch at the Bohol Bee Farm. Stick around because there's lots of fun ahead. You know why you're an endangered species? Because you're kind. one of a kind. Exactly. <laughs> that's uh, the estimate of the age of this shell is about 1,000 years. What? Oh, 1,000 years. 1,000 years! 1,000 years! 1, years. <laughs> 1, years. <laughs> 1, years. <laughs> yes, yes. Tip for everybody out there do not mix durian and coke. Or soda. Or soda. soda. You might explode. It is with great sadness that we must say goodbye to Eden, Nicole, and Clandy. We had a great time together, and you can be sure there will be more adventures for the five of us again in the future. Today, me and Tony are going to go out on our own adventure and check out what Bohol has to offer. So this is St. Augustine Church, which is known for Panglao Church. And this is stands on the southern western side of Panglao Island and it is 18 kilometers from the Tagbilaran city. So it's basically the second um, this is uh, this is the second big church here in Bohol. What's really striking about these churches is just the the the, the structure. Yeah, just the architect and the, and the design that goes into them. And there's a really, you really get the Spanish, the Spanish influence feel of what, what these churches are like because they were basically built by the Spanish. Your quack quack. Oh, that's not quack quack. That's quack quack. Really? Yeah. Weird looking. Why is it weird looking? That's a weird. Are you thing. tricking me? That's an egg, honey. Is it raw? No, it's not. Is it cooked? It's because it has a covered. Remember? It has a what? It's covered with some thing. Oh, hmm. see? Okay. <laughs> you already ate quack quack before. You just forget about what's the well, color. This didn't work the same. No, it was like that, honey. It's the same. Pasara Han? Pasara Han? pretty good, eh? <laughs> you are. Alright, where's our next stop? Where's your next stop, uh, Kuya? Shell Museum, ma'am. Shell Museum. Museum. The no. museum. Yeah. Shell Museum. What kind so, of museum? Shell Museum. Like for shells? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Seashells. Seashells, seashells by the seashore. Seashells, sure, sure. By the sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> and our second stop for this day tour is the Nova Shell Museum. I'm not sure what to expect, but this might give you a clue. That looks kind of scary. Honey, are you an endangered species? I belong here. <laughs> you know why you're an endangered species? Because I'm indigenous. No, well, <laughs> no, no, no. You know why you're an endangered species? I'm one of Because you're kind. one of a kind. Exactly. <laughs> I know myself. Of course, with the Philippines being a ocean continent, there are so many different sea life and shells. And this looks like, like a, a very good collection of Almost all of them? Probably not all of them. But it's probably a lot of them. But these three shells are already fossilized. Yeah. Because we got this one in the mountains already. Okay. Out of the mountains? Yes. What was it doing in the mountains? They said that uh, before it's submerged in water. Yeah. Oh. That's why 
there's some shells in the So these are going to be really, really, really old. Yes. Like ancient, like the, dinosaur. Uh, the estimate of the age of this shell is about 1,000 US. Oh, 1,000 years. 1,000 US dollars? 1,000 years. 1,000 years. 1,000 years. 1,000 years old. Yes. Yeah, still, that's so you impressive. You need to count the line of the shell to determine the exact age. Like a tree. Yes, the tree is the ring. Yeah, yeah but same, same idea. Same thing. Isn't that cool? So this is, sir, is the... What do you call this guy, sir? It's a very large clam. It's a very large clam. Yes. We use it to make clam soup, which is very delicious. This is very old. And it's Older than Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> and you can, you can count it by counting the this line here as how old they are mm -hmm. and this comes from a mountain wow. have you ever seen a clump in the mountain only in the hole <laughs> <laughs> after playing a little game of smell my finger it was time to head off to our next destination and i hate to break it to you honey i don't think sharks have claws all right so our next stop how do you pronounce this Hen Hanagdanan. Hanagdanan cave and bath resort Hanagdanan Hanag Hanagdanan Hinagdanan? Is that right? Hinagdanan. Hinagdanan. Yeah. See, I, gotta, I gotta do it with a bit more of a Filipino accent. Hinagdanan. Cafe. Yeah, I cafe, told you, like cafe, that. Cafe? The, the. Cave. The stress is always in the middle. Hinag. Dana. Yes. The emphasis is in the middle. Exactly. The emphasis is on the wrong syllable. Okay, I actually didn't know the cave was like right here. It's like a hole in the ground. Kind of freaky. It's, it's oh wow, that's freaky. You're a tall, claustrophobic. This is not the place for you. <laughs> like the rocks are like literally right over your head here. This is seriously one of the coolest things I think I've ever seen. I am sweating down here. It is so humid. It is so worth it though. The water looks amazing. The water looks like crystal clear. Welcome to Hanagdanan Cave. It's my first time to enter a cave and it's really, really pretty here. Yeah, it's my first time too. And it's very roomy. Exactly. Oh, you know what? You can see holes. You can see holes in the, the rock so let the sunlight in. And if you are so inclined, you can go swimming. Wow. <laughs> that was crazy. So our last stop of the day is the bee farm, which technically should have been our second stop if you think about it. Stop number A, stop number B. C and D? No? Oh. Welcome to Bohal Bee Farm. Which, like I was saying before, it should have actually been the second stop. Right? Why? Stop A. Stop B. St <laughs> no? <laughs> I'll feed you to the bees. <laughs> You're so sweet, so bees will love you. Let's this check is a, the ice cream production. This is our ice cream production. Uh, how they make the ice cream so from uh, coconut milk. Uh, we are also using honey as a sweetener. That sounds delicious. They have like uh, fresh fruits and vegetables also, like uh, durian. Yeah, that's how they make it. What is that? Durian. Durian. That is famous. The in stinky the, fruit. Uh, yeah. yeah. Don't mm. smell it. I want to smell it. No. I want to smell it. Can we have a sample a little bit? Durian. Okay, I've heard of this durian stinky fruit. I've never actually bit. smelled it. Oh, so okay, this is the first. Please. If I pass out, don't worry. Try it. Oh really? <laughs> I can smell it and see what it smells like. Well, this is see how case. stinky it is. Oh, that oh, one. Oh, yes. It looks like something from the Alien movies. Yeah. Thank you, Salamat. So this is durian fruit. Yeah, smell it first. 
It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Well, no. Because it's just one. But if you have a bunch of that, it's probably it smells smell. a little bit. That is the one fruit that you cannot bring on the plane. Exactly. Because it's sticky. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Told you. No, oh, it is delicious. Yeah, it is. It's not that stinky. Mmm. So right? That's really good. If you eat more than uh, like uh, one of that uh, durian, yeah. don't drink soda. Why? Just drink water. Mmm, <laughs> soda can like um, bubbles. Yeah. So if you drink that one, maybe you can choke because of the bubbles. So it reacts with the durian? Yes. Kind of like baking soda and poke exactly. and pot. It goes. Oh, yes. Ah, Just gotcha. uh, drink water only. Good to know. <laughs> So this is their bisha, which we probably have to check. Maybe we can get something. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go in. Oh, you've got aircon. Oh, I love you all. I love you so much. Oh, it feels so good. Do you want to try and sample some honey? Oh yeah. Spicy honey. I don't want that. I want, I want to try the spicy honey. I want the wild honey. Okay, so it starts out really 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 sweet and you don't think it's spicy the wild honey is really nice. and then the heat kicks in and i was like whoa good afternoon well what you say about the honeycomb i don't have honeycomb no honeycomb i'm sorry baby it's almost like a little mini village in here there's like a furniture maker crafts maker and then for the final leg of the tour we're gonna have lunch at the Bee Farm restaurant. Why the restaurant? I don't know. We keep going. What's this? Oh, this is <laughs> this is like a, a community hall. It is like a little village here. It's a farm. It's a big farm, obviously. <gasps> oh, it's right on the water. What is this? A lake or is this the ocean? No, it's a Is it the ocean? So the bee farm is right on the ocean. And then just from the restaurant there, with a great deal of caution, because these stairs are very steep, it heads right down to the ocean. And with that, you are on the Pacific Ocean. So you noticed something about the menu here. What was that? The menu is very organic and healthy. So if you come here, most of their, um, actually, but just looking at it, you can see it's very healthy, like their menu. And most of the ingredients are grown here in the farm too. Nice. Yeah, like even their rice, their rice is like a brown rice instead of a white rice. That is cub cub. It's made of cassava. Wow. It's a root crab. Which one? Uh, the chips, sir. The chips? Yes, sir. And that then the you said the bread was made that, out of what? Yeah, that is our homemade squash bread. Homemade squash yes, bread. Sir. Wow. The one that I gave you some complimentary. Yeah, yeah. That was that was really good with the spread yes, there you gave us. Yes, and then, uh, ma'am, this is your grilled fish. Your grilled fish, ma'am, it's already plated. It comes with rice and salad as a siding. And this is the dressing of your salad, ma'am. This is honey mustard dressing. Thank you. Wow, and, uh, thank you. That is edible flour, by the way. Oh. Yeah, really? It is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you can eat that one. The red one that is gomamela and the blue one that is blue ternate. Really? You can eat yeah, gomamela? Yeah, yeah, you can eat that one. <laughs> that is so cool. Honey mustard dressing, at least. <laughs> so everything Eat your flowers, here. honey. Everything is here. Enjoy your food. Thank you very much. Thank really appreciate so that. Thank you, thank you. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. I know what gomamela is. I didn't know it's edible. What is What is this? This thing. Ah, uh, you get it. What is it's it? a cassava. Yeah, it's a wild cassava. The one, the chips, sir, it's made of that one. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's oh, a, it's sweet. It's a root crab, I sweet potato. Wow. It makes sweet, sir, because of the um, coconut milk base yeah. with honey as a sweetener. That's really good. Enjoy. Thank you. Well, this is definitely worth the trip, I can tell you that. The food's delicious. The view is amazing. I'll just show you the view. That is our view just and, up the hill and i've been living here in the philippines for 30 years and there's a lot of gumamela live somewhere in our
our place and I didn't know that this is edible. You can make a salad out of it. You can make salad of it. And so there's a dip here. I'm gonna tell you that this is an edible. Mm. So we're enjoying the food for now guys because it's really really good. This is the end of our trip. This is the last stop. After this we're gonna go back to the hotel but Thank you guys for joining us in this vlog and comment below what is the best part that you want in this vlog and what you want us to do next or where you want us to go next. So thank you guys. I can't wait to eat my food really guys. So please like the this video, give us a thumbs up, click the notification bell for more vlogs so you will be updated and like, subscribe and goodbye remember life is an adventure <laughs> <laughs>